Hey, and welcome to the Toadstead. Well, most of the videos we show you are uh, videos that are the result of hard work, long-term planning, and for the most part, they're pretty successful. This one's a little different. Um, just goes to show you that we screw up around here, too. And this is the result of a pretty nasty screw-up. Um, for some of you who've been around since the beginning, you'll know that the Toadstead went from being a part-time a uh, two-year project to a four-month project. Um, we had a death in the family. We had to move very quickly uh, to settle some stuff. And it was just very, very confusing. And when we were bringing things up here out of a very large house, the uh, Defrog Toad Manor was a, was a 2,000 square foot plus house. Well, there's a lot of stuff that had to go into storage. And the only thing we had was, uh, was the shed and some other things you might have seen in the video. So some of the totes that we carried stuff in were deemed okay to leave outside. And, uh, well, <laughs> one tote got left outside that had everything you see here inside of it, and water got into the tote. Uh, what we have here, uh, this is the Alpine stereo that was in Astrozilla and was slated to be the stereo system for the shop here. Um, what we have down here is a little Bofang handheld two meter radio, and then the uh, Yesu 2900R that uh, I had in the, sh in the, in my, in, in the radio shack at the uh, at Frog Toad Manor. Now we don't know if any of this is gonna work. At some point in time, I'm, go I'm gonna take out, uh, get, get a 12 volt system set up in here and start testing and seeing what I can do. But uh, this was a drag. This was a, this was a huge drag because we really were looking forward to getting um, these electronics into the shop. And the reason I'm making this video is I've been asked by some of the ham radio operators and some others, you know, where are the radios? Where, you know, what are you doing in the shop as far as using the 12 volt? Well, we have a little cheap boom box in here running on 110 because this is in this condition. Uh, our intent is to put a automobile style stereo in here because it runs off 12 volt very very easily and very well um, we we're planning on putting the two meter in here because we can do that antenna real easy um, putting up the wire for the high frequency antenna is just not practical uh, for the high frequency radio it's just not practicable right now but when we went looking for these electronics they weren't found in the shed and they did end up being found in a tote outside the shed having been outside since oh gosh close to a year so let this be a warning to you be real careful i don't know if we're going to be able to salvage any of this we'll have to wait and see but just goes to show you you know best laid plans <laughs> all right well we'll come back uh in a later video during the testing and we'll let you know how this worked out but for now that's gonna that's a bit of a mess but sounds like I gotta go deal with the root with the chickens. See y'all later.